and welcome back to the Reaper. So we've been asked the question, Cap, how do you get the XM60 site to work properly in DCS? Uh, people that are struggling to get to work. So let's get on with it. First of all, we're going to drop it down. You all know how to do this because we've got tutorials showing how to do this and put the holographic site on. First thing we need to do is understand the actual reticule in here. And it's all about miller radians, which is one thousandth of a radian and a radian is an angle of something roughly about 60 degrees something like that it doesn't matter just to know that it's a set angle and the beautiful thing about radians is it allows us to determine the range of an object a vehicle a building a person whatever first of all we're going to do some practice showing you how to use the site here to range a vehicle so there we've got a, a mic 113 apc if you go on google and type in the length it is exactly 16 feet from left to right so first of all to range that vehicle there what we do is going to maneuver our helicopter so this site here is in the center of that vehicle i think that's the best way of doing it hold to fire now we're going to do everything on the ground today just so that it's much more stable a platform for me to use in real life you wouldn't be using on the ground obviously but it means i can aim down nice and slow and talk to you so you can see there it's just popping out the side of that internal circle, okay, this one. And uh, the circle from there to there is 10 milliradians. The circle from there to there is 5 milliradians. So we can say it's just above 10 milliradians. So let's say it's 11 milliradians, this guy, okay? Then we have to go and do the calculation. And the calculation is the size of the vehicle in feet. You can use whatever unit you want, but we're going to use feet is 16 feet times 1000 equals 16,000 and let me just go and get my calculator divided by 11 for 11 milliradians equals 1454 so by doing that method there i have ascertained this guy's range here of 1454 feet and if we go on the f10 menu to check i mean the reason we would be doing this is because we didn't have the f10 menu but we do just for this example so actually measure from me to him there annoyingly it's showing it in uh, nautical miles at the top but let's uh, just run with that anyway so 0.25 nautical miles so if i then uh, went into a converter in google and converted that 0.25 nautical miles is 1520 feet so uh, and in and to be exact i can tell you i put him exactly 1500 feet from him so we are what 40 so by using the radian scope the xm60 radian scope here we have got his range with an inaccuracy of 40 feet 40 feet which is acceptable and i could do exactly the same to him i could um, see how large he is compared to 5 and 10 milliradians work out his range and work out that guy's range there you would usually do it by the height of the vehicle but if you don't have the height of the vehicle if you only have the length or the width then that's just what you have to do so that's the first part of using the XM60 scope for finding the range. Now we've got the range, we can use this guy here, the, de the milliradian depression knob, to actually uh, allow us to hit that target at a certain range. To do that, we have to go to our ranging table. It's site Reflex Helicopter XM60 Elevation Settings. So what we first need to do is convert our range here into meters, because we got them in feet. Uh, if you like, you can start off initially with meters and then everything can be done in meters, but I like to work in feet initially. So, what we're going to do then, in fact, why don't we just make this a bit harder for ourselves? Why don't we do that guy out there? Right, hold that there. You can see it's five, uh, the inner, the inner, oh, it's kind of hard to say without pointing. That there to that there is five milliradians so it's just above that so let's say i don't know five and a half milliradians okay so let's get our calculator out again uh calculator so what we're going to do is say he is 16 feet times 1000 equals 16,000 divided by 5.5 milliradians equals 2900 feet and what i can tell you is that in f10 here he is actually at exactly 3,000 feet. So that was 80, uh, 91 feet out, uh, which for gunnery, I think is just about acceptable, otherwise known as 0.49 nautical miles. So we've ranged that guy. Next, we're gonna shoot him. So we go to our table here. We're gonna say that the range is, uh, for this guy is 2,900 feet divided by, uh, converted into meters, sorry. So 2,909 feet into meters is 890 meters rounded up. 
So 890 meters, let's round up to 900, is here. What we do then is find our altitude, nap of the Earth, 1500 feet AGL or 2500 feet AGL. We're coming in nap of the Earth. So if we're nap of the Earth here, then we have to interpolate this table here to where 900 meters is. And what we can work out by basic interpolation, I won't tell you how to do this, it's pretty easy to do, is that we should be looking at a elevation setting of plus three here, plus three milliradians to put onto our depression table there. If, it, if the range was exactly a thousand meters, it would be zero. If it was 1500 meters, it would be minus 25. If it was 2000, it would be minus 15. If it was 500, it would be 15. So you have to interpolate between. So next we're gonna to go to the elevation gauge here and we're going to turn it up to uh sorry what did i say uh plus three milliradians plus three milliradians and what that's done is it's moved a holographic site up exactly three milliradians and remember how big a milliradian is we talked about it uh there next what i'm going to do is arm my guns which are all armed i'm now going to aim at the target with the crosshair and i'm going to fire and what we should see is our bullets are I mean, they're not accurate guns, obviously, but our bullets are basically going to be explode, be centred around him. Uh, the recoil of the guns knocks me back a bit, but you can see we're taking him out. Okay, so we've pretty much killed the guy there. Okay. Uh, let's make it a little more harder for ourselves again. Let's go now range this guy out here and use the setup to take him out. And then after that, we're going to go and look at rockets. What I just say is this ranging table is exclusively for the guns. It's not for the rockets, but we do have a converter for the rockets. Okay, so we're going to range him. And what you do is you put the dot in the middle on the side of him. And you can see there, that there to that there is 5 milliradians. So that there to that there is 2.5 milliradians. So the nearest damn it, that's about 2.5 milliradians, isn't it? I don't think we're going to get much closer than that. So we're going to get to the calculator. Uh, we're going to go uh, 2.5 milliradians. Uh, sorry, uh, we're going to go 16 feet times 1,000 meters divided by 2.5 milliradians. Gives us 6,400 feet. The actual range I've put him is at 6,000 feet. So we are 400 feet out here. And that's just because he's at the ac real accuracy limit of this system. Uh, and he's a small vehicle. The smaller the vehicle it is, the less the accuracy is. We're 400 feet out. But we'll run with it anyway. And we'll probably find it's still, uh, still accurate enough to hit. So now we're going to convert 6,400 feet into meters. Uh, which I'll do now in the background. Equals, uh, give or take 900, uh, sorry, 1,900 meters gonna go up to our table 1900 meters is uh, just gonna be slightly above minus 15 sorry so we go up to say minus 18 milliradians say uh, minus 18 minus 19 maybe I'm just trying to interpolate in my head between them uh, let's try 18 minus 18 or minus 19 milliradians well, let's go uh, where is it that's zero that's minus 20 that's 15 so something like that there we're going now going to aim at him uh, this may be a little more difficult to see obviously the accuracy of the miniguns here leaves something to be desert, uh, desired so what we're going to do now probably if I can put the camera out uh, I think that's our guy so he's 6,000 feet away uh, I'm going to go back to the cockpit okay, we're still pretty much aimed on him uh, let's go back let's fire that gun Pew, pew, pew. And you can see that's just about hitting him. It is hitting him. Look, the problem I've got now is I just can't hold the joystick steady enough. And you can see I am doing damage to him now. Okay. And that's it. There's not much to say there. Taking him down. Right. Then go there. Um, so that's it. That's how the table works. If I'm at 15, if I'm at 1,000 feet, then I have to interpolate between these two tables. Exactly as I've been saying. If I'm at 2,000 feet, I interpolate between that column there and that column there. 
and that's how it works basically just get as accurate as you can like that so that all works we've tested it out thoroughly and um it's good next what happens if you want to shoot your rockets this is for the minigun not for the rockets but we have done some trial and error and we've got a conversion for it so chopsticks are you in be a deer and go and sit at uh, 3,000 feet from me would you 3,000 so we're going to skip the ranging part this time because I've all, I'm, you know, had to save time. I'm going to send him out at what I know is 3,000 feet. Uh, just get my rockets all armed. Check there. This time, what I'm going to do is we need to just add a ratio on to convert from miniguns to rockets. So what we do is take the range and we divide it by three. So let me just do that. I probably had to do it in my head, but I'm going to do it anyway. So the range is, uh, first of all, 3,000 meters. We're going to divide that by three to get 1,000 feet. 1,000 feet in meters is 305 meters. So I'm going to interpolate from here. So if the range is going to be 305, we've just got to in, um, work it out from here. And let me just figure that out. That is going to be about 20 to 21. I make it, if we, through basic math interpolation, I made that 20 to 21. So let's say 20 and a half to be between friends plus this is sorry plus okay fingers crossed this works now the rockets are extremely inaccurate so you have to kind of take it a bit of an average but uh chops is you right behind that vehicle can you come out yep that's that roger right we've got to aim at chop six now okay check the depression wherever it is okay cap is rockets away anywhere near I landed at the middle, sure. Roger, I think I was aiming a bit low. Let me just um, try that again, chopsticks. There we go, that's better. Right, coming out, so I've got to send a mass this time, firing. Fairly close. Roger, firing again, Cap. I'm directly between where they both exploded, so... Oh, so is that... That's, that's the rocket inaccuracy. Roger, okay, yeah, I can't get better than better centre mass. So that's how we convert between um, using the guns and using the rockets like that. You can use it at far, moving at any speed, and you can use it at any altitude, literally. You could technically use it at 10,000 feet and interpolate. I'm not sure how accurate it would be. Anyone want to add anything to that? Oh, uh, I should say that this guy is over here. It's not the same. He does not have a milliradian adjusted sight, so this thing here will not work this is tracer only uh, how this works um, so bear that in mind or at least as far as we know we're pretty sure yeah there's no depression knob down here so has to be um, anything you boys want to add to that right um, that took all day to work out but we got there in the end we hope you enjoyed that and see you later